All right, so hello everyone. Welcome back to another video. Uh, sorry I haven't been posting in a while, but we're back with another video today. And today we're gonna carry on with the, an idea given by a subscriber to explain how to pair the resource of UWorld, the question bank UWorld for the MCAT, with the space repetition software Anki. Specifically, we're trying to see how to pair the questions we get wrong how to look and dissect a question for the piece of information that we need to get that question right the next time, and then how to come up with a question stem for Anki, and then place that piece of information under that question stem. So let's get right into it, and let's look at the screen. All right, so let's jump straight into it. So right now we're here on our UWorld dashboard. So we're currently looking at a question we assumed we got wrong, right? So basically we sat down for let's say 30 to 59 questions of a different of a specific section of topics on the U World question bank. And now we're kind of reviewing the questions and going through them and finding out how to pair this resource with Anki. So for example, if we look specifically at this question, we have to figure out why we got it wrong, what piece of information we need to get right the next time and then figure out a way to incorporate that into a flashcard on Anki so that we don't forget about that fact that we need to recall. So just as some background for what we're looking at right here, we're looking at the question for, it's, this is from the biology section. So specifically, this question was about the virulence of a bacterial strain called Salmonella. So it basically what it told us is that there's a lac operon. So maybe some of you have heard about the lac operon. It basically is just a compound of genes that together express a bunch of enzymes that help digest lactose and bacteria. But it's saying that Salmonella, uh, evolutionarily speaking, has lost the lac operon and they're saying that that might be contributing to its increased virulence or virulence. And so our question, the one that we got wrong this, in this case, says, the reduced virulence of lac plus S uh, typhonarium or salmonella has been correlated with an inability to generate the torque that turns the flagellum. Which structure in the flagellum is most likely being affected by lac genes? So this question is pretty much like a standalone question. It's referring back to the passage in some way, but mostly it's just asking us to remember a fact we got this wrong, so that means that we're just we just have some sort of knowledge gap, and we're trying to, going to try to fill that up with the information that U World provides us. So it's asking uh, us to recall what part of the flagellar structure is responsible for generating the force, the torque, the force times distance. If we re recall that from physics, that is responsible for the flagellar movement. That is a structure on motil bacteria that allows them to move around in certain mediums, right? So our options are the hook, the filament, the basal body, and the cell membrane. I mean, right off the bat, we could have uh, neglected answer D because cell membrane doesn't make any sense. That's definitely not a structure that's part of the flagellum. That's just the structure that's part of any cell in general. Um, so then we're left with these three. However, if we don't remember the structure of the flagellum in general, then we'd struggle to find out which of those three kind of makes the most sense. Turns out the answer is the basal body, right? So then we go down to the explanation that UWorld gives us. That explanation follows uh, that flagella, bacterial flagellum, in this case, have three components. They have the basal body, which apparently is really important, which is saying here that it works as the motor. The hook, which basically looks like it's just connecting it to the filament, which is the portion that is technically the in the outside of the cell and it's uh, responding to the movement by the motor. So according to this question, we just need to remember that the basal body is the part of the flagella that is functioning as the motor that's creating the force, generating that force for movement. So then we just need to find out a way to remember that fact. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a screenshot of this little diagram, which is pretty nice and pretty useful. And then we go to Anki. So this is a deck that I created for everything that I got wrong. So we're just gonna add a new card so that we don't forget about this piece of information. So right now we just went to add right here. And now that's gonna be the front of the card. So the front of the card, we wanna have a question that triggers um, 
our mind to remember that piece of information. So we might ask something like, what are the three components of the bacterial flagellum and which part is responsible for generating movement or specifically for generating uh, the torque right for generating movement or torque so then as easy as just control V the image in so now we have it right there and then just a quick explanation in our own words about which part generates the movement so we say something like the motor or engine of the flagellum equals generator and generator of movement right equals the basal body so as we can see when we look at this specific question we're asked to remember the three parts right that make up the bacterial flagellum and we're also asked to remember the part that's the most important that generates the movement and then our Anki card will be responsible for showing us exactly that so after we create it like that that took like two seconds we just go to add and we're done we move on to the next question so at that point it's just rinsing and repeating that strategy and that will be practically it so thank you guys so much for watching this video this is going to be a short nice and sweet short video uh, and then I'll try to keep uploading probably on a bi-weekly basis, if not a weekly. Uh, we'll try and see what happens. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.